The days leading up to Polar Day, we get to experience the most colorful skies. The sunsets are so vibrant, leaving the entire horizon in a golden glow, illuminating the ocean and the surrounding mountains. It's almost like the sun wants to give us one last show before leaving us in constant daylight till August. That low glowing sun is one of my favorite kinds of views. Golden hour, when the entire landscape is a shade of pink or blue or just glowing orange. Look at this, guys. It's cold. This is incredible. Oh, it's cold out. It's so cold. What's happening? I think it's minus 20 degrees or something, but look at this. Wow. I mean, that is just, it's about 9 p.m. right now. <laughs> it's actually so cold that it's like itching the throat. Oof, I have to go inside, but wow, this is gorgeous. Incredible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is cold. Every year on the day that starts off the polar day, I wait up till midnight to watch the sunset for the last time. The next sunset after this one is four months later on the 25th of August. So how does this work? Why do we have four months of constant daylight? The midnight sun, also known as polar day, refers to the extended period of daytime that lasts 24 hours or more, and for four months here on Svalbard. The midnight sun occurs because the Earth's axis tilts toward the sun in summer and away from the sun in winter. Therefore, the poles are exposed to the sun rays for six months each. So the Earth rotates at this tilted axis relative to the sun, and during the summer months, the North Pole is angled towards our star. <laughs> Feeling blue is 
four o'clock in the evening I haven't left my room But the truth is If I'm honest I feel stuck here in the middle Oh! Oh, hi! I didn't see you there! Where am I going, you might ask? Well, I'm going to town, I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Brevity Backpacks. And I mean, look at this beauty. Super stylish, they come in so many different colors. And this is actually a camera bag. You might not even think that it is. Let me show you. Open this compartment. <gasps> Et voila, just fully set up for my gear. I really wanted a camera backpack that was kind of cute and not just so outdoorsy because I want to be able to bring it when I travel. Like now when I go to Portugal, I'm gonna have this one and Christopher's gonna have this one. So head to the link in the description to check out Brevity Backpacks and grab one for yourself. They come in so many different colors. So I think there's something to suit everybody. And thank you so much to Brevity for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to whatever else we were doing. is dying <laughs> this one is so sad I think I overwatered it all you plant people just come and help me I think I overwatered it so many of these leaves were dead yesterday so I plucked them out but now it's looking a bit better I'm trying to like move it around the like the house so it doesn't look oh so it doesn't get the same amount of sunshine and like I'm trying to dry it out but I'm gonna put it this here now I really like I'm not a good plant person, but I try, they're beautiful. But my tree has survived so well. My tree is doing so good, but none of my other plants are. But so we're gonna put this here now, and if somebody like wants to tell me what to do with it, please do in the comments. I don't know what plant it is. Yesterday I finished His Dark Materials part two. I cannot believe that I haven't read these before since they are here on Svalbard. I, well, not all of them, but they are talking about Svalbard a lot in the first one. That's, well, that's kind of where they are. But so I finished the second one and now I'm on to the third one. And I cannot wait to kind of find out what happens. So if anybody hasn't read The Golden Compass, as they're called in America, in Europe, they're called His Dark Materials. So if you haven't read them, I really think you should. It's not that, like, I thought it was going to be kids' books, but they're brutal. And then Christopher, he read my favorite book yesterday in one sitting. He could not put this down. And I could just notice that it kind of had the effect that it had on me, where you just kind of contemplate what you've read and you really just let it sink in because it's such a sad story. It's, at the end, he's like, what do you mean? So that's, that's all that happens? And I'm like, yes. He's like, but I couldn't put it down. Like there's no like crazy ending or super crazy things that happens. It's just one of those books that is so beautifully written. And the story is told so like emotionally that you just, you cannot put it down. So if you've not read Stoner by John Edward Williams, I know I've told people this already on this channel. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but now that Christopher's read it, it just kind of, you know, it told me to just like read it, but okay. This one, where the crawdads sing. If you haven't read it, oh wow, you've got a treat in front of you. It's kind of actually slow in the beginning. I had a hard time getting into it, but oh, it's such a good book. This is actually also a really nice recommendation. The Space Between Us. It's by a, an Indian author called Triti Omrigar. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was extremely interesting and just beautiful. It's about everyday life in Bombay and about the different castes and everything. 
Beautiful. Read it. Very good. Okay, now I need to clean that up. I need to tidy up a little bit in here. I've had a matcha today. I've also had a coffee. And that is so depressing. Because that means that I can't have any more. You know, I can't just... I can't just live on caffeine. Even though I wish I could. Do you also enjoy watching people clean? I always do. Some weird thing about just watching somebody else <laughs> get their house sorted. It's just comfortable, you know? Where is the line between dreaming and feeling blue? It's four o'clock in the evening. I haven't left my room. But the truth is, if I'm honest, I feel stuck here in the middle. Am I one of those crazy people? When you throw your hair up, you know it's serious. Let me show. <laughs> let me show you. Like this way looks so much better now. Do you know where I put everything? This is so typical. I need to clean that too. I'm gonna do that later, okay? I'm gonna show you. First, we're just gonna light these candles. I'm gonna show you guys what I have for breakfast normally. All right, so this is kefir, which is kind of like soured milk. Well, that, that's what it is. It's very tasty. A very normal thing to eat in Scandinavia or in Sweden for breakfast. So it even smells like, it's like fizzy. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay, so we're gonna have a lot of that. I might just, yeah, I need some more. It's very runny. So it's, yeah, it's quite like liquidy, as you can see. But it's so good. You can have whatever you want on this. When I was young, my grandpa would take a cracker bread and just crack it, like smush it over. But you know now these days we are gonna have some granola. So I'm gonna put a bunch of granola on here. Usually what I would have fruit, but I don't have any fruit, okay? So we are just doing it this way. Lots of granola today. Now, the most important ingredient, so much cinnamon that you're gonna think that I have some sort of cinnamon problem, which I do. Keep it coming. Mmm, cinnamon. Let's do that again. <laughs> okay, from experience, let's fold the cinnamon in to avoid what we just had happen. Very uncomfortable. We got this. Okay, there we go. Now the taste. You see, it's so like, it tastes sour. It tastes like, it tastes like sour milk. No breakfast in the world is better than this. Ooh, I'm almost pouring it out. I look a little rough today. I feel a little rough today. Let's sit down and have a talk. Hi, and welcome to Breakfast Chats. The best thing is, it's this is my breakfast, it's 4 p.m. Oi, 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 oi. What I had before this is I had coffee, I had a matcha, and I had two Twizzlers. Twisters, you might say, if you're from America. How did you get those? My friend was, just came back from Florida and she asked us, is there anything you want? And Christopher just goes, Twisters. He loves Twisters. I love Twisters. Oh, it's amazing. So we have a huge packet of the normal strawberry ones. We have cherry and we have all of the filled ones, but we prefer the regular ones. They're incredible. 
but we go on vacation next week, which is the day after you're watching this. We're gonna go to Portugal, to my parents' house. Uh, if you've been around here last summer, I was there. If not, you can go and check out those videos. I didn't post a lot of videos from there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna film anything this time because I really just kind of need to disconnect and just have a vacation. But I'll be posting stuff on my Insta stories and I'll be posting regular videos here because I have filmed so much adventure for you guys lately. Uh, I've got two sets of cabin videos coming up with crazy glaciers and fun adventures. I don't know, just crazy stuff. So I'm excited about you seeing those. So there's gonna be plenty of content here on YouTube. Oh, I'm gonna do my wordle, wordle for today. I have a lot of thoughts today. Okay, let's do wordle. I always start with the word moist. <laughs> and then I do the word perky. Look, I do moist and then perky, and then I figure it out from there. Like now I have four of the letters. Okay. Both love. 